Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. We just sort of ended off last time with a couple of uh, Marcus scenarios and Connor as well. And I believe we're about to go back to um, Kara, but you know, it's been a bit of a weird situation right now. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. Wait, are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. This kind of makes me think that there's a turning point here. But at least the good thing is we can sort of go back to each chapter. So, a little bit nervous here, but of course we're going to continue, right? As you wish. So let's do it. Okay, we're back at Connor again. So I think we're sort of in a bit of a constant loop right now between uh, Marcus and Connor which is a little bit unsettling because you know it does mean the tensions are definitely rising right now between uh, Cyberlife and the Deviants and Kara's story is mostly sidelined for the most part at this stage of the uh, game I believe all right let's talk to Amanda I think she's not gonna like that I uh, sort of went deviant with the shooting bit. <laughs> After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Oh no. We couldn't unlock anything from last time because, you know, we didn't, we didn't give Kamsky the benefit, you know? I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Hey man, uh, I mean, okay, let's just stay silent. I don't really, I don't really know what to say here. Okay, let's ask about this place, I guess. Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Um, I don't know. I kind of want to ask more, but I don't want to push too Where hard. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Of course they do. They want to keep selling. It makes sense. Let's ask about Kamsky. Why did Kamsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Damn it, we asked too many questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants. Okay. Or there will be chaos. Let's do our job. This is your last chance, Connor. So I don't think this is something that's actually fully explained uh, within the, the context of the, the game. Is taking over. What? But from what You're I understand, Wait, the place where he meets Amanda is pitch. really his own mind space. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Oh boy. Well, to be fair, we did drag out the investigation. If we really put our mind to like getting everything, I kind of feel like you know, we would be somewhere else. Like, um, if, if it really did put my mind to like, oh, let's shoot the Chloe android, you know, uh, we would be in a very different place. But. You know, we kind of prioritize Hank right now, so it's a bit weird. Uh, let's see, frustration? We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? 
What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Oh boy, um... Regrets, I guess, maybe? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. I'm not worried about the rights. I'm worried about the civil war and that's on the horizon. You that android at Kamsky's place. You put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. Mm, let's use troubled. Let's get that instability up. I don't know why I did it. Mm, Hank's secret? I don't know. Friends. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. Yay! More, more stuff with Hank. Who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. Yep, that is an FBI guy. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I have. Okay, ask. we need to get that evidence. Let's go. Evidence locker. Let's go. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Okay, nice. We got the we got the path unlocked. Okay, we only have so much time. Let's scan around. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. Okay, let's go, let's go. To the archive room. We have five minutes. And we need to get out of here. We need to get all hey, the evidence Connor. we can. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? We don't need any plastic. The asshole, I'm talking to you. Oh, straight we straight up ignored him. Okay, let's go. Five minutes. Okay, use the key. Let's go. Click it out. And we're in. Now let's hope that a uh, cop guy doesn't come over and expose us. Hank's password. Ooh. What would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Date of birth? Nah. How about fucking password? <laughs> that sounds like Hank. Oh, that worked. Oh, nice. Obviously. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see, who do we have on the evidence rack? Where is Jericho? Alright. Uh the answer's here somewhere. I wonder if this guy knows. How much the deviant who took a child hostage. Our very first mission too. Needed for reactivation. This component. Okay. So we only need one more to reactivate it. Right, what could we possibly use? We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Okay, what can this we do with this? Is the hope of a people. I can't press any you buttons. Gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Okay, I think I just wasted a little bit of time there. Right, let's quickly check on the two other androids first, because I think we're wasting time just by doing this. The android that murdered its owner. Analyzing bio components? Oh, impossible, but it has some functional components. Maybe the one we need. Yeah, the neck component, which we need for Daniel's reactivation. There we go. You lied to me, Connor. 
I trusted you and you lied to me. I'm sorry, Daniel. I need to find Jericho. Do you know how to get there? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. Makes sense. But I hope that one day you pay for what you did to me. Okay, cool. That was a waste of time. Uh, shit. How much time do we have left? Okay, we have four minutes. Okay. It's not the worst thing. Okay, let's check on this guy. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Oh, that's true. He was in line with Marcus. So we need the 3983. Okay, we need a 3983. I think there's one on... Okay, nope. Maybe does Daniel model have it? Yes, nice. A 3983. Good stuff. We just rips it off. Is this how bike components work right now? Okay. Is the camera damaged? It's dark. Where? Where am I? A trick. I think maybe trick is the I'm best one. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Okay, we need a voice now trick. Leave me alone. Is this where the Marcus thing comes into play? Nice. Now we just gotta watch over the entire thing again, I guess. Oh, never mind. We just need to sample the voice like this. Okay, that's better. At least we don't. We ask that you recognize. We don't need to watch the entire video again. Our hopes and our rights. That's the good thing. All right, let's check the rest of this because might need this. I hope we don't waste too much time, but I think we managed to get the Jericho thing. The truth is inside. What was it trying to tell me? I think with the Marcus thing, we might just be able to finish off Jericho. Let's find it. Let's check it. Who's there? Use the Marcus trick. Who are you? Everything is alright. Yeah. Don't worry. Nice. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right. Voice imitation is a bit of a problem for androids. You. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. And then that's clearly not Marcus, but that's actually Connor. Totally. Don't leave me, Marcus. Totally am Marcus. But do we have the location? I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to Walk stop away, Gavin. the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Dang it, Gavin. Quick time. Connor being a badass. Okay, I think the good thing is that most quick time is between the circle button and the X button. So it makes it easier to go in between the two. Alright, Gavin down. Let's go. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm! Now! But Connor's already out. Let's go. Nice. Let's see what options there were. Holy shit. That is a lot. Yo, oh wow. Now look at this. This is this is crazy. This entire thing is crazy. So you unlock certain one of the drones by depending on what you do, 
including killing the Tracy and I believe capturing Simon is one of them as well. So depending on what you did, um, you'll also see the different stuff. Like you get the memory from being friendly towards Carlos's android, and then I think some of this is if you don't manage to go into the archive or not create a diversion. So there's generally many different paths for if you fail, which is you see everything literally here. Probably us uh, losing the fight and not locating Jericho at the same time. So I think we're going to move on and I believe it's going to be Marcus now because it is tied into Jericho, but I am going to hope we are getting Kara. So let's go. Are we back to Kara? Yay, we're back to Kara. It's been a while. That's been a hot while. Uh, we've been mostly going in between Marcus and uh, Connor, so it has been a bit of a while since we really uh, been to Kara. Can we talk to Rose? Who can we talk to? So last time in this kind of scenario, we could talk to Luther by pointing the camera towards them, but not sure here. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. Oh boy. Androids- some music instead. Androids do make up a large population of literally every single person in society, huh? Armed forces, medical workers, maintaining networks, etc., etc. It's interesting. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge. After oh boy! Yesterday. Of course, everyone's on edge. Holy it's crap! Be all right. I messed up the protest, and this is why we're here. We're almost there. Kind of, kind of feel like I'm kind of guilty for this. Well, from Marcus's perspective, I'm kind of guilty. Where this happening. But you know, the choice has been made. This is our first playthrough, we can't go back. We'll take what we have so far and you know, deal with it. Because what else can we do? Right, <laughs> quickly look around for magazines. Okay, none, so it's just talking to Rose. A little further on that way, Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Oh, we're heading to Jericho. Okay. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you. Okay, so Kara is going to Jericho. Good stuff. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, alright? Okay. And be careful. Take care of them. From what I'm aware, there's actually multiple ways to do this particular cutscene. Um and um one of the ways is that Rose actually follows us to the border. They not hang around. So I kind of already feel like, you know, none of this is what you would actually expect from watching people play the game. Because if you make this by your own decisions, you'll start to realize that it's so distinctly unique, each person's playthrough, you know. So we just need to go find the freighter, which I believe is this thing, right? No, just got to be careful. Oh man. Connor's here too. Wow, okay, we are going around quite fast. Okay, so we've played the Marcus one before. We already know where Jericho is because we've already done this mini game before. So let's go. So everything's coming to a little bit of a, I don't think it's a climax yet, but it is a bit of a pre climax. The combination of Jericho, Marcus, and Kara all being on the Jericho Freighter on that one eventful night. So I'm gonna call it a pre-climax. It's not the climax of the story, but it's close. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is 
grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most of wow, they even have a calm center. Holy shit. Wow. That's cool. That is dope, though. You have the own calm center. Right. Check around. Explore Jericho. Find a warm place, so... This is a lot different from when we first came here. You guys remember it was just a bunch of fire bins. Hey, here we go. Here's the fire. Let's go. Okay. Good stuff. But yeah, Jericho has changed a lot since we first came here. Thanks to Marcus. All right. Does she have a fever? Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours, and the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk okay. on the bus. Okay. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Okay. There is some foreshadowing with Alice over here, which I don't think I like. Ooh, Connor has infiltrated Jericho. Find a deviant leader. So we just need to find Marcus. Don't catch anyone's attention. Okay. So we need to find. Oh yes, there's a magazine. Oh, finally. It's been so long. Okay, just pause if you want to read. Uh, the same user protocol, but it seems we have we are really on the verge of a civil war here. Dang it, I'm trying to swipe right. Thank you. Ah, the Andrew starts to attack civilians. Guys, it's supposed to be Oh wait, hold up, that was my protest. Never mind. There's a thing in the middle. I'm not sure what it is, but there's only two points of interest right now. So let's go check that out. We're trying to not catch Kara's attention because you know we aren't Marcus. Oh, here we go. That is a lot of C4. What are you doing with that C4? This thing is raked to blow. Okay, maybe if we walk upstairs. I don't know what we're doing. You're lost. You're looking for something. Oh, hey there, Lucy. You're looking for yourself. Software instability up. Right, we haven't found. Uh, we haven't found uh, Marcus either. Good thing we already read the magazine because Kara kind of skipped that, which is kind of my bad, I guess. Where's Marcus? Shouldn't they give us a bit of a marker at least, you know? Oh yeah, he'll be up here in the control room. That would make sense. Hey there, Marcus. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. You said you're with I actually the like girl, the fact right? that uh, they both have their lights you know ripped off, you know? Hate us. 
Why are you protecting her? A bond? Let's be a bond. She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. Alice is a good girl. She doesn't hate us. Right, so... Now we need to return to Alice. That's dope. And then we need to get Connor up here, you know? The one thing I am curious about is how many of these androids were smart enough to rip out the light on their head? Alice. Oh, that's the twist, huh? Oh shit, that's the twist. You knew from the beginning. So Alice is actually an android. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted. And you became the mother she needed. Getting who you are to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. That is a startling revelation that Alice was an uh, android. Well, is an android. I don't recall actually seeing that specific poster when we were in Todd's house, so maybe we didn't pick it up or the game just didn't show it to us. Luther, you just sat down. Okay. No family bonding moment. Kara, is there something wrong? I mean, I'll just kind of lie about it. Let's be real. Let's hug. We can't discriminate because she's an android. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Damn straight. Yes. Androids can live for like, what, a hundred years? I forgot, what was it again? This is the batter won't run out until you're like 140 years old or something like that. So, it's pretty dope. It can be a family to, oh yes, Luther. We're all a family now, a little trio. 